the theme to seek. A fire is born in a grove, starts off as a bit of ash, swirling and swirling, and suddenly a spark. The spark turns into a cinder, into multiple cinders, and then the cinders collect and coalesce and become a small flame, and from the flame eventually dawns a blaze. And now, another step. First the body, first the form. Now, give it purpose, give it thought, and now it is alive. This fire is dubbed Namir, and his mission, his quest, through a series of 95 adventures, three beginnings, two endings, and 14 forks in the road, is to do something rather simple but a titanic task, nonetheless, to find his brother, Mishka. This poem that I started writing whenever I was 13 years old started off from a smaller poem called The Ballad of the Fire Inducer and the Grass Lover, where Namir and Mishka were the principal characters of the small poem. And so, as it goes, Namir is born in a place called Hain Ortis, or a grove, in essence, that's what it is, a grove in the middle of a forest, where he's surrounded by all kinds of creatures and fays and else other beings that do not treat him well, that because he is a fire and because they know fire's nature to destroy and to consume, they treat him as such, and they try to kill him. And, more so than this, he is stunted in his growth because he is a conscious being. And so he is forced to stay as a small flame hidden away in this grove, trying not to burn anything for a very, very long period of time. Aeons and aeons pass, and he is stunted, barely able to conceive of any thoughts, barely allowed to, because instinct to keep himself alive is the only thing that guides him. However, comes a dream, a vision, and in this dream, a voice speaks to him. And the voice that speaks to him, he believes. And it tells him, is his brother. And from there forth, he grows. And becomes not just some small flame hidden away, not some spark or sparkle or shimmer. He becomes a firestorm, an inferno, all alive and able to conceive itself into whatever form it should please. And it begins to fly. And flying, it begins to go, and it goes from village to tribe, to town, to city, to world city, to empires. And it goes traveling around in all kinds of situations and manic pastimes that could possibly be conceived. And all of this in order to discover one creature, one other creature that would, for him, complete him. And so, Fire Inducer, that I've been writing for all these years, I continue working on it. But I give you this context. I give you the idea. So you may know. <laughs>